Hey y'all, welcome to Two Priestess on Tech House I Made That. I hope that y'all are doing lovely and doing amazing. This is a The Divine So I'm going to tell y'all reading. So let's see what comes out, okay? Masks. Okay, mask off type shit. All right, so I feel like you're uncovering some things. And this beat is called Nice and Slow. So it's like you're uncovering things on a timetable that is comfortable for you. Things are unfolding as they need to. It's not like a lot of information at once, a lot of uh, like a big situation at once that can teach you a lot. It's like things are happening slowly and things are becoming visible as they need to. Let's see what's becoming un invisible or from the unseen to the seen. Worthiness, okay? Who you are, okay? So the divine is like, look, you out here. You're being seen in a way that people are like, they appreciate you, they appreciate you, they love who you are, they love what you're doing. Um. Excuse me, you're worthy. They see the worthiness. They see the beauty in you. You're greatly showing them what's up, okay? Leveling up, okay? So you're out here looking like, not only are you looking good, uh, calm, peaceful, serene, but also it's like people say they haven't seen you in a while whether in person or online and they see you after a while and they're like oh wow look at them you done level up you have leveled up literally so whatever you're looking like out here it's like this is how people are looking at you like you have leveled up like you are out here beautiful as fuck and that's the mask that you're uncovering to people like uh, this is who I am. I feel like who you are is like on a greater scale from what you were before. Not that you have changed, but you have grown. You have become a lot better within yourself, within your life. Things have grown around you. And so you and your own growth is shining through seasons you're approaching a new season you're out here on some where does this season take me how am I going to grow in this season okay you're like looking at things in a different way this time around in life this could be because of some things but you're looking at things in a new way and the seasons card is number one so it's like you're starting on some new journey. You're starting on some new wave. And because you're starting on this new wave, it's like this path that you're about to go down or going down now is going to take you into some bigger aspect of you that you have no idea about yet. Truth. Come on now. And that's the truth. The truth coming out. You're showing your true self. You're revealing who you truly are to people. You uh, don't hold back. You are greatly presenting yourself in a way that people appreciate because of how real you are. You're presenting your real true self. Grounding and you're very grounded, okay? You're very, people might say you're down to earth uh things like that you have a lot of life to you good juju come on now you got positive vibes out here it's a beautiful like your vibes are popping you out here on some i am lovely life is lovely i'm doing amazing out here type shit and people are loving it so if you were wondering how people viewed you. They view you in a light where they can look at you, respect you, um, take notes from you. 
because of uh, how you're presenting yourself and the mask. It's, I don't feel like you are just taking off this mask and like revealing yourself to people, but in a way, maybe that's also what's happening. Like you are becoming more in touch with yourself in a way where you can open up more, especially if you're doing things online, but also in person. But online, cause you know, you don't know those people, it's going off. It could go on to be something bigger than whatever you understand. And so it's like, to be comfortable with that type of uh, people viewing you at whatever level that that is, it's like you're comfortable with that shit. So whatever you do out here, I feel like um, how you present yourself personally with yourself in your normal environment, but also if you do things elsewhere in other ways, how you present yourself, it looks like you are comfortable with yourself so much that, or becoming more comfortable with yourself so much that it can be seen. Like you can present your full self or you're working towards that shit where you can present your full self in every aspect of yourself. Cause I said in a reading recently, it's hard to do if you do online things like this or put yourself out there if you have to do anything in front of a camera that shit is hard like to be able to talk to the camera there's nobody here but to talk to the camera and then be comfortable with that it's hard like i wear glasses a lot because sometimes it's like this shit is hard <laughs> and the glasses help to ease in the comfortability but sometimes it, it doesn't matter because sometimes I wear glasses sometimes I don't but sometimes it's like if I need to I don't know sometimes they just go with the fit and I'm just I just love wearing glasses but also sometimes they do help like that's why I guess people who are have bigger statuses or whatever out here they tend to like to wear glasses around people especially if they're gonna be in a public setting and they know that people are gonna be looking at them or whatever the fuck, um, or on anywhere, in whatever aspect. A lot of them like to wear glasses because it's like, it helps with the comfortability of being in that situation. And so there could also be something like that that helps you be more comfortable doing what you do while you're doing it so you can overcome that level of over of comfortability and get used to it so that way you know you can expand you can grow so whatever you're doing you're out here becoming more comfortable with yourself it's showing it is showing in a way where people can be like okay look at her look at him look at them it's like beautiful because they can see it like from whenever you started till now from whenever they met you till now it's like you have overcame something inside of yourself brazen and said i'm here i'm here i'm out here i'm out here hoes what's up that's what you said to yourself and said i'm gonna take this full on I'm going to go full out with this. Excuse me. And because you're going full out with this, it's showing. Intuition, okay? You probably could use your intuition for how to feel out situations, how to feel people out, how to understand how to approach situations, you know, reading the wrong type shit storms okay in order to overcome uh hard situations it's like you know how to read people read situations read things so that way it doesn't escalate so that way it doesn't become something bigger than whatever it is at that point and that's with a lot of things that's like how you're handling a lot of things like the way that you handle people the way that you handle situations it's done in a way where 
uh, it's not like you're avoiding a storm. Sometimes you can't, but some it's like the way that you approach something big happening or if it's happening already, taking it in and dealing with it. It's like the way that you deal with it is strong, uh, mighty, powerful because of who you are and how you handle situations. Celestial alignment, okay? And everything is aligned for you. You the goat out here, that's a goat right there. You are the goat out here, literally. So it's only up from here for you, literally. Etheric cords, and it's like things that you don't need people people, situations, whatever. It's like you know how to cut them off, who to cut off, um, who not to have around, what not to have around. If it's a habit, you're cutting things, those habits out. If it's um, especially like a bad habit, it's like that's, a, that's something that you're working on or could be working on to help you get out of a bad habit and turn it into a good habit and so you understand how to cut things off um so that way they can help you and only bring you up that's what you're focusing on bringing you up bringing yourself up and cosmic power things are getting revealed things have gotten revealed things are getting revealed whenever you get information it's like you understand how to take it in and process it and know how to use it from there. And that's a strong ability. Miracles on the back. Come on now. Miracles on the back. You're getting blessings. Something could be coming through where you like, oh my gosh, I didn't know I was going to get that. Oh, wow. That's happening. Somebody giving you something that you either really need or... Um, just a surprise but something is coming through where it's like you about to see some shit your hard work uh, you could be seeing your hard work being paid off so or paying off in a way where you weren't expecting things to look like that so if it's you do things online or put music out whatever you could do put, wrote a book you know, maybe you didn't think that people would buy your shit like that. Listen to your music, watch your videos, uh, a short film, movie, whatever. Watch, hear, listen, read, whatever your stuff. Attend, if you're a teacher or something, attend your classroom and they didn't think that you taught like that. And, and you engaged with your students in that way. Like, and then something big could happen from there. I'm looking at the words big right now, so it coincides. It's like, something's happening where, because of who you are, because of what you do, it's like a big blessing attached to it. So you could get a bonus, you could get a promotion, you could get the grades that you like. I know I'm working hard for it, but I don't quite know if I'm going to get the grade that I think. And then, bam, you get that shit. It's something. Whatever it is. The surprise job. The surprise contract. The surprise something, okay? It's coming for you, okay? Desire. Because you want that shit. That's in the middle, okay? Desire. Because you want that shit. Because you're going to get it. Like, you're going for it like it's already yours, whatever this is whatever all of this is it's like you're going for these things like it's already yours i was about to say you backing that ass up like it's 1999 you know on some big crit shit you could be doing that <laughs> you could be backing that ass up like it's 1999 i would hope so you know a twerk session a day is good for the body it really does help and work the body the glutes the uh, the hamstrings <laughs> it works everything honestly it works a lot even your arms a little it can work the whole body the abs so you know you should have a torque session once a day you know 10 minutes at least five minutes 
you know, just twerk that ass and just see what happens. <laughs> I'm serious. Whoever you are, if you like to twerk or dance, you know, just do a, a session of dancing. If it's not twerking, just do a, a, a dance session and you'll feel real good. I, I don't know. Maybe y'all like to dance and that's why it's coming in. I know. I like to dance. But it's like maybe I've never talked about this. So I don't know why it's coming in. But you know, we all have our things that we like to do to boost up motivation. I know for me, it helps with motivation. It just gets the heart going real quick. And then I can get back to doing something like studying or something. And so, you know, it just does something real quick and then bam, get back to it. I don't know, that just came through. So I'm gonna put it out there, you know? So I really hope this helps the divine. So I'm gonna tell y'all that, okay? I love y'all. I appreciate you. I thank you for coming through. Watch some of my other videos. Also check out my freestyle practices. There is a playlist also of T Priestess shit too. Um, you know, if you just want to dive deep into tea priestess shit all day, there are many videos. So, you know, I love y'all. Bye, y'all.